Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of John Plays Project M 3.0. On the last episode we covered Zelda and Sheik. Now on this episode I've decided to be nice and start playing some new guys. Now over here, <laughs> you guys have probably already noticed from the last few videos that Mewtwo and Roy have been added to the roster. Now these are the guys that I am going to be covering today. First become, first, uh, wow. First coming up is Mewtwo, and then next is going to be Roy. Now, uh, <laughs> these guys have been uh, remodeled, so these aren't uh, past models from from uh, Melee, and uh, they've been completely redesigned, and their move sets have been uh, tweaked a bit to suit their gameplay. So let's just get right into the game. Now, Mewtwo. Mewtwo has been <clears throat> has been a fan favorite, even though he isn't that good. Uh, excuse me, guys. I'm still sick. <laughs> Uh, Mewtwo has been one of the fan favorites because Mewtwo is, you know, Mewtwo. He's the most powerful Pokemon in the game. <laughs> Whenever, when uh, there was, you know, only 150, 151 Pokemon. And uh, everyone was excited to see Mewtwo go in melee because, oh my gosh, it's Mewtwo. And uh, excuse my gameplay for Mewtwo because I'm like, I, I, I freaking can't play this guy. <laughs> if I, if the, the day that I play Mewtwo is the day that I'll live forever. <laughs> Uh, there's some things about Mewtwo. His tail is way larger than it was before, so he has a lot more range, making him, uh, but, you know, it's easier to space out with him, it's easier to zone people out, it's really nice. Another thing about uh, his stuff, his teleport, which is his uh, recovery move, his uh, up special, it's really, really, really fun to use this move, because you can act out, it's just, you can act out of it, so you can do an aerial and stuff, you can do any aerial. It's just like Sonic. If uh, for those that play Brawl Sonic, and uh, also Project Dem, because you can still do that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, his tilts are uh, the moves that I like using with Mewtwo, because it gives a lot of space and it's very nice for setting up combos, especially his uh, back air. Really good for zoning people out. Now his airs have been completely re has been completely redone. So uh, his forward air, his forward air is that weird shadow claw thing. His up air is the same. His neutral neutral air, which is uh, the electrical surrounding thing on him, is the same. And his down air, which is this awkward thing. I don't know what he does. He like flips and then he does some sort of some sort of whip with his tail or something. I don't know what he does there, but it's a, it's a, a wind up spike, which is really really strong if you get it. And not only that, it's really hard to land. Of course, Mewtwo got his, uh, what is it, his moonwalk capabilities again. Oh my goodness. I'm not, I'm not doing well. Come on, make it. Yeah. His dash attack has been the same. His jabs are good. Now, his specials are a bit different. Yes, Mewtwo has recovered Shadow Ball, which is nice. I love using Shadow Ball on people, even though Mewtwo's not that great in melee either. Uh, Mewtwo has uh, floating capabilities, and maybe that's why I'm not good, because I can't play floaties floaties as well. <laughs> I mean, people tell me with Peach that I don't float enough, and I'm, I'm probably guessing that I don't float enough with Mewtwo either. But yeah. But the thing that I've noticed, I think that his, what is it, his, uh, what is it, his rolling, his rolling is a bit longer. I don't know if that's a thing, or maybe it's just, it's just a feeling, but it's, it's I think it's longer. Not only that, but uh, his, uh, you know, when he's air dodging, he just disappears like before. <laughs> it's really nice. Uh, that's the same thing with the spot dodge. It's really good that they caught, got that all back. His grabs, though. This is what makes Mewtwo a very good character. Okay, they changed his forward air to a bursty. I will turn you into a shadow ball, and then I'll pop you. <laughs> like that. Alright, let's see if I can... Uh... Okay, wow. That, that was really bad. Anyways, his grabs are really strong. You know that uh, that grab that nobody used in melee, where he uh, puts you in the air and he shoots a bunch of mini shadow balls at you. Yeah, that's that has been replaced with uh, the bursty move, which is which makes his grab game a bit a bit more scary since Mewtwo has uh, very nice grabs. His up grab was the same. Wow, that was really lucky. I have no idea how I did that. <laughs> his down throw, he'll smack you with his tail again. Uh, that's one of the weakest, but it's good for uh, following up on, and it's good for tech chasing as well. And uh, his back throw, 
they'll just throw you back like that. And it's really, really, really nice to see that all the grabs are in touch and are the same. It's really nice. Okay. Oh wow, I didn't know up there was really that strong, but I must have got a sweet spot or something. His wave dashing is really, really cool, but his wave landing is kind of weird, because you know how he has the... What is it? He trans... like, it looks like he disappears, but he doesn't. Yeah, uh, if you don't do it right, then he's, uh, probably gonna fall off somewhere. And you probably don't think you've done it right anyways. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was so bad. I was gonna wave dash back, but I didn't do anything with my control stick. Anyways, his specials... His down special is still disabled. If I can land that. Now it's pretty hard on Marth, he's a bit mobile. It's disabled, which can uh, lead you into a combo. Of course, the higher the percentage, the more that you'll get stunned, which is really nice. Uh, his uh, side special, which is, I think it's confusion, I think. Confusion? Uh, what this does is, uh, depending on how you hit him, it will either knock you back, or you'll get, you'll get a bounce on the ground. A ground bounce. <laughs> And it's, uh, it's a really awkward move. I don't like using it, but uh, sometimes I use it because it's good for spacing. And it catches people off guard as well. Okay, now Mewtwo. Mewtwo. <laughs> if only I could play this guy. Oh, man. Let's see if I can start something over here because I'm not that great with Mewtwo combos. Uh, Confusion also, also uh, reflects back projectiles, and it's... Uh, Really nice. Some people forget that it's uh, good for, you know, projectile blocking, <laughs> smacking, reflecting, <laughs> all that good stuff. And yeah, you see how like satisfying it is to land a down air. It's just, it's just really nice <laughs> that Mewtwo has been re recovered back from the dead. Okay, Link. Link. Okay, so Mewtwo. Mewtwo is just, uh, uh, to me, he's one of those characters that are like, oh, I'm going to knock you back, combo you a few times with my tilt, and then you're dead. So that's how it feels for me. Uh, of course, Mewtwo has that nostalgic move set as well, and I really, I really like Mewtwo. Mewtwo is great. Until I discovered tier lists, and then I realized that Mewtwo is not that great. But in, in this game, I think that he can really compete with the big guys like Fox, Sheik, Falco, all those guys. Uh, <laughs> he's he's uh, heavier, I think. I believe that he's heavier since he drops a bit faster than he does. But yeah, but when playing against Mewtwo, I'd recommend uh, looking out for Teleport, which is his up special. Teleport will really get you because he can act out of it. It catches uh, Danny off guard all the time. <laughs> he forgets about it. Oh my goodness. That Link. Oh yeah, Link's new taunt. Hey, listen! <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get this guy out of here. Look at the Shadow Ball. Nope, not even. And with the grab, because that's what Mewtwo's great. That's what Mewtwo was famous for in Melee, his grabs. Don't want to get grabbed, man. All this teleporting shenanigans, though. Okay, come on. Oh. Oh. Okay, so... <laughs> there's, not, there's not that much to else to talk about Mewtwo other than he's, he's gotten better. <laughs> and he's a really viable choice now. But yeah, uh, his... Uh, okay, I'll talk about his colors after and special costumes. After this match, because I totally forgot about that. Alright, good. Okay, now for Mewtwo. Mewtwo has uh, his, melee co his melee colors, kinda. But they made it more red so that in teams it's very easy to recognize. He has uh, red, green, which is a shiny form, blue, and uh, gray. Now he has a special costume, which is... Uh, Anybody that's seen the first Pokemon movie has to know this Mewtwo. This is the armor that Mewtwo was covered in when he was uh, being experimented in Giovanni's lab, and it looks gorgeous, I must say. Not only that, but it says Pokemon 150, which is uh, his Pokedex number over there. 
Okay, so let's switch on over to Roy. Roy! Okay, Roy has uh, all his melee colors back, which is red, green, blue, and uh, gold over here. And he also has another color, which is black. I really like the dark color over there. And uh, let's just get to the gameplay over here. Now, Roy. Roy is... Uh, he got way more changes <laughs> than you two, I must say, there. And it's really good to see him back. Okay, so... His grab games, I do believe that his grab is just as a... Uh, is just... <laughs> what is it? Just as long as uh, Marth's. Marth is very infamous for his uh, long grab range, even beating Yoshi, which is pretty... pretty weird. Now, in terms of specials... Uh, okay. Uh, Mar... Wow, Mar. Roy does have his, uh, his old specials. And not only that, but uh, his uh, side special, he can uh, move to the other side. He can, he can quickly change to another side, which is really nice. And depending on uh, what direction you have on it, is how uh, Roy will attack, just like Mark. Okay. He has counter back, and his, uh, his up special, which is recovery move. It's uh, not an instant like Roy. It's not, wow. I get their name for stuff. It's not an instant like Mark. It's just it takes a bit of time to wind up. Just like a slight second to wind up. Charge up and then go like that. Yeah, it's all good. The grabs, the same as they were in uh, Melee, but I do believe that some have different properties. That's just me. Like the back throw seems a bit stronger. His jab is just. Just a sword slice, but it's slower like it was in, uh, it's slower than M what Marth has. Marth can, uh, can jab over and over, whereas uh, Roy only has one jab, it's just like an instant jab. And it's the same jab animation too. His, uh, he has different tilts, kinda. His down tilt is the same as, uh, Marth. His, uh, forward tilt is a stabby, thingy, and his up, his up, Wow. His up tilt is really, really weird. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys right now what his up tilt does. What is that? It comes back and then forward. It's like a fan or whatever. And it's really, really weird. Uh, I like using that move because it's very weird and has like good juggling potential, but like it's kind of weird to see Roy come all the way from the back and then just... Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's see if I can spike him. Yep, nice. Uh, yeah, that's another new change for Roy. Is that uh, if there's a sweet spot like there is on Marts uh, for the down air. If you hit it, it will spike. But if you don't, it will pull, pull them up, I believe. Yeah, like that. It's kind of awkward. His uh, smashes are the same. Well, most of them are. The only one that's different is his down smash. It's like whirling motion. It's good for finishing up the combo and stuff. And I really like using that as well. His forward smash, the same as a melee, and his up, his up, his up smash. Here, go. His up smash uh, has it's a bit easier to land, and it's really, really bursty, and it can send you towards the air, and it's a good uh, vertical finisher. It's nice. I really like that. His airs is uh, what is it? <laughs> his neutral air. I'll start it. Now I'm dead. I can't remember from that. His neutral air is uh, the spinning fire motion. Uh, depending on uh, where he's spinning, uh, the fire is at the tip of his sword, so... You might hit him with fire, you might not. <laughs> his dash attack is the same as well. Forward air, standard stuff, just like Mars. Oh my goodness, yeah. He shouldn't really... Uh, uh, to me, he's not very good offstage, like, he's very heavy. He's one of those, uh, bursty kind of guys that, like, oh, I will shuffle you and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I really like Roy for that because he's a different type of, uh... He's not re he's not as much a clone to Marth as he is now. Like, back then, he was really a clone to Marth, like, the same moveset, same grabs, except uh, the moves have different properties, and now he has a pretty unique moveset, which is really nice. And I really like that about, uh, Roy. Uh, up, yeah, and, uh, up air is still the same as well. Still the same move, it's very nostalgic. I like seeing, uh, these guys back in action. Of course, these models are, are imported. Uh, Roy, yeah, like, 
uh, Mewtwo. Roy has a model that was made completely from scratch. And it, it does look great. Like, the sword has everything. He uh, does have emotions when he's attacking, and these two guys are just... These two guys are just really great to see back. And it was so disappointing to see them not make them back because uh, they were also favorites in Melee, even though they're not that great in Melee. I'm sorry to break your... break everything to you, but... Okay, fine. For those that think they're good, they're still good, but... Uh, they've just been made even better, which is nice. So, they can play hardball with the... Uh, the top tiers again, like I said before, and it's just, it's just so great to see that, oh my goodness, can I make it? No, I can't. This is great to see them back. You do not know how much hype, hype there is. Oh yeah, I forgot, uh, Roy's back there is different, it's a, it's just a large, what is it, a large swing. It's a good finisher. <laughs> It's like a very strong swing, whereas Marth is just, oh, I will scoop you up. <laughs> yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop you up. Alright, so some combo games over here. Uh, Roy's down tilt is really good for setting up combos, so is his uh, up tilt. Uh, yeah, Mo most tilts are really good for setting up combos. It's really nice. I'm not gonna make it either. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, you see his uh, offstage game isn't that great because he's really heavy in his... Uh, Oh, uh, his up special, his recovery move, isn't that, isn't that, uh, long as Marth's, isn't that instant as it, as it is, so you might get, a uh, trapped and stuff, and it, it just, oh yeah, anyone that knows, if you charge up, uh, Roy's neutral B, it will cause an explosion, which is like an insta-kill. Now here's a little thing, his uh, shielding, look at that, that is just a nice way to block something, just like that, it's just, you're using your elbow too, but it's kind of dangerous if you ask me. I think his uh, rolling has been changed to, like it wasn't, like Mart's, and his spot dodge is uh, the same thing. I, I really like Roy because like his wave dashing, no, his wave dashing, I really like his wave dashing, it's... <laughs> Not, it's not the greatest, like, uh, other characters, like Mark, but, like, his, his wave dash is pretty nice. I really like it. <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. Can you make it? Yeah, you can. Hit! Okay, the Pit's gonna be one of those characters I'm not going to enjoy either. <laughs> I really don't like Pit as a character. Alright, so let's show one more match as, uh, the new costume, which is the Black Roy over here. His, his, like, entering animation is really good. <laughs> and uh, for you casual players that uh, play this game, Marth and Mewtwo have received final smashes. And uh, Mar Roy's is very cinematic. cinematic. And Mewtwo's is, uh, uh, it's really, I don't know what to say. It's just a copy of Lucario's, but it covers more, more of the screen. I don't know if you can move it, but it seems like you don't move it at all. Well, Mewtwo is very powerful anyway, so might as well give him a very powerful Final Smash, right? Squirtle, I can't play you! Ugh. But you are just one of the cutest little things that I've ever seen. Oh. Oh. Gosh, that... Okay, that recovery is just really hard to capitalize on. As you can see, Roy has a lot more kill options than he did have in Melee. Like whenever, uh, I, I was wondering why Roy wasn't uh, wasn't better than Marth since he was a uh, he was a lot faster. But I can see, I, uh, Roy can really finish anyone off in, uh, in Melee. Like he had his uh, neutral. What is it? What is it? What is it? Yeah, his neutral B, his neutral special. <laughs> He also had forward smash, but that didn't really kill either, so uh, they made more moves possible to kill, like uh, Roy's down smash, Roy's up smash, they've added more power to his forward smash, his back air, and, uh, and his down air, which now spikes, whereas in melee it would just, you know, just flop him up and stuff. He's got really nice facing, he's got great range, really fast. Roy is just another character that I would be playing on. Roy is actually a character that I enjoy as well, so... Thank you, Project M, for including these two characters for me to play. 
My friend Chris is uh, playing Mewtwo, which is good, because I, I could use some Mewtwo experience. Even though these computers are kind of good, I could really use some human experience. <laughs> There's like... My friends uh, don't really match up to me because they don't know how to do it, even though I try to teach them. You know, some people just don't flat out listen. Like, when, whenever I'm giving out tips to how to play, like, League of Legends better in solo queue and stuff, my friend's just like, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I can do that. I'm just, you just need to take my advice and you'll be good. Anyways, uh, yeah, I, I'm trying to teach others how to play this game as well. Uh, especially uh, Project M, because Project M is a new, fresh game. You want as much people to play this game as possible because it's a great mod. And uh, that's the end of the video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching my guides on uh, Roy and Mewtwo. Uh, for the next episode, I am just going to, you know, pull a bunch of names that I didn't play and uh, match them up with someone that would do well. It might be even Lucas and Ness. Well, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.